Regulators. Like we say where I'm from, how you doing? Yeah, how you doing? We're gonna play some songs for you off our new CD. Uh, it's called Nice Ain't Got Me Nothing. This song right here is called Shake That Thing. It was written by my mentor, Mr. Glenn Pavone, and Frank Sprintz and uh, Tommy Valentine, also known as the Cyclones. We're back in the day, the Keystone Rhythm Band that used to back up Billy Price. So we're gonna open with that for you right here. Shake that thing. That's for your consideration for a Grammy nomination for best rock song or best rock performance. Now, let me think about this for a second. This song is about my second ex-wife. I had to get it right.
child Are you the devil Oh my sweet honey child Don't see the matter They go to John the Wild Your father's in fighting, baby I don't know the reason why I can't get a grip You keep giving me lip No matter how hard I try Are you the devil? Oh, my sweet honey child Don't see the matter People to drop the wild How's everybody enjoying themselves in that beautiful day? We are blessed to have such a beautiful day. Beautiful day. So, all right, where are we at? Okay, we're on the almost number three. Notice I had to take my glasses off for this one because I got to get serious with you on this. Guys, you guys all know that one girl. We've all had that one. You know the one with the eyes. The one that can't tell the truth. The one that won't put that bottle, and I said bottle, not glass, of Chardonnay down. The one that's in every gig in my ear. Why can't you make a song about me? All right, honey, baby, I get the perfect song for you. This is called Bullshit Barbie.
She tried to trick me with mascara eyes. But behind them baby blues was nothing but a pack of lies. Bullshit party. Go away from me. Mr. Bobby Val, of course. Bobby Val.
inside your mouth It's way too late now, baby The word on you is out Push it for me Go away from me Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, we do have uh, CDs for sale. Yeah, those songs are all on that new CD. We have the new CD with us tonight and t-shirts. All right. So I'm going to get serious on you for a minute. Is that all right? All right. I mean, I'm joking around, you know, having some fun, talking shit, but true talk. Um, this is the first tour I've been on where I wasn't on a substance. This song goes out to anybody that's struggling right now that don't think they can do it. Because I'm living proof that you can. As I stand for in front of you today. And it really is, I used, to, I used to joke about it and make fun of it. It really is one day at a time, and that's how I live my life now. But I stand before you today, 22 months, no cocaine. 152 days, no alcohol. And 60 days, no cigarettes. So this song was started, I, a very good close friend of mine, a mentor of mine, Mr. Ronnie Moondog Esser. Y'all know Moondog, right? Y'all heard of Moondog, right? Y'all know Norman Nardini, right? right? Well, they kind of sat me down and they were like, kid, kid, do you just want to play around here and be like everybody else? Or do you want to make something out of yourself? Go be somebody. That's what Norman said. He goes, listen to this song. This song will get you through. So this song goes out to anybody. That light at the end of the tunnel, it's not a train. Y'all know what it is. Right? Are you with me? Are you with me?
protection Every man he must fall I swear I see my reflection so far every song except for that one is on my new album we have it available for sale today so please it's a long drive back to Pittsburgh and gas is expensive please buy a car <laughs> oh man I want to thank Paul Benjamin for bringing me out here thank you my brother this next song is the title track off the CD this is called nice ain't got me nothing
Danke, du Mo. All right, all right. Now, there's a, there's a lot of guitar players that are ashamed to admit that they're a Stevie Ray Vaughan fan. But I am not one of those guitar players. The guy, the guy single-handedly inspired an entire generation to play the damn guitar and to play the blues. So I will not apologize for being a Stevie Ray fan. And with that being said, I'm going to do a song that Stevie did. Uh, it was written by uh, Howard Wolf.